Welcome back guys. To install Pulumi you have to have Node. So on a Mac you can just do brew install Node and brew install Pulumi. I've already got it installed so my output's going to be a little bit different than yours but it's pretty simple. Um, straight from the Pulumi website. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, to start in a Pulumi project since this is AWS we're going to run Pulumi new AWS TypeScript and we're gonna name our project. You can name yours whatever you like. Now this is different from the uh, from the organization name, so keep that in mind. Now we're gonna give it a little description. Again, whichever you like, up to you. Um, I guess I'll name mine Pulumi Tutorial. Uh, now this is where I made the mistake. Uh, I tried to name mine Learn DevOps slash Dev. However, it, since that organization doesn't exist in my Pulumi stack, which is a SaaS based product on Pulumi's website, um, I won't actually name that and we'll change the back end later. So I just chose the default name Dev and just hit enter and I chose the default region US East 1. So right now it's going to go ahead and download all the node modules that we t that we are going to require and excuse me for the effects um, going still downloading still downloading all of that AWS stuff that it's going to need uh, when we get started so still playing around with Final Cut Pro again apologies for the effects some of them may not be a little distracting so now we're going to go ahead and go over to our um, um, Visual Studio Code which is where our Blooming project is just go ahead and just uh, it got spun up with Pulumi new AWS TypeScript. So let's go ahead and, and import all of our AWS stuff. So we're going to import star from, or so we're going to import star as Pulumi from AWS, or Pulumi AWS in this case. So, yep, there we go, AWS. And then now that we got that, oh, sorry, Pulumi and Pulumi. So now we're going to get AWS from Pulumi as well. And then we're also going to need AWS X, which is the extensions. Uh, for example, EKS is in the uh, AWS extensions. I'm not sure why exactly that happened, but it did. All right, so now let's go ahead and create an S3 bucket. Um, similar to pretty much any other SDK in AWS, you, t you can declare as a constant, and I'm declaring in my bucket as a new AWS S3 bucket, and I'm going to go ahead and pass in the string that would be the name of the bucket. However, Pulumi SDK, the Pulumi helper script, automatically adds a suffix to the name. So it'll be a normalized lowercase my Pulumi bucket hyphen some random characters that I cannot override, it seems. So there we go. And now that we created our bucket, let's go ahead and export that name as well. So we will go ahead and do export. Oh, let's go ahead and type in description. So we'll go ahead and do an export const, uh, const as well. So export const um, my exported bucket or exported my bucket. And then we'll go ahead and, and go use the my bucket resource. So my bucket dot ID. And that will give the ID of the bucket, which is the name of the bucket. All right, so let's go ahead and run this in Pulumi. So I'm using SAML to AWS because that's my login for AWS. If you're using AWS CLI, um, you can just do Pulumi up if you got your AWS CLI all set up. So uh, let's go ahead and run Pulumi up. And as you can see, it's creating my stack. It, and it saves all that stuff in my Pulumi SAS, which again, we will change later, just not quite just yet. Um, so yes, let's go ahead and apply this update. This will create my S3 bucket. And it takes a little bit. It's not exactly as fast as Terraform, I must admit. Now that permalink will give you the uh, link to the SaaS based application that is available on Pulumi's website, which will show all of your resources. Now we can pass options like, for example, tags if we wanted to. So we can go ahead and try and pass tags. And I did have to look at the documentations for this because the uh, Pulumi's documentation is a little obscure to, in my mind, to be honest. So we went ahead and passed tags and the name is equal to my bucket. I tried to override the name that Pulumi gives. However, that does not seem to be the case at all, even if you pass it as a tag. So let's go ahead and apply this. 
Then it takes a few seconds, just says you're going to apply the tag, which since I'm not recreating the bucket, it takes, it's much, much quicker. And went ahead and had yes, and did not change the name of the bucket whatsoever. All right, so it seems we can't override the Pulumi, um, the Pulumi helper script that automatically adds that suffix, unfortunately, at least not that I can see so far. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, website, which holds all of our resources. Again, there's a stack information upon like what happened when I last ran it. These are all my resources here. Um, my bucket name is there, and the S3 bucket as well as the AWS link. Mine won't work because I use JumpCloud to log in, and this is my full stack information. And that's pretty much it for that. Um, th these are some instructions that will give you the uh, how to destroy and manage your stack specifically and there are different ways to list your stack. Alright that's the end of this video so in the next videos I will go ahead and show you how to get how you guys can change the back end as well as um, uh, using output from one Pulumi stack to another. Bye.